Happy Knitters! Welcome back to the Happy Knits Podcast. My name is Yolanda. I'm Jordan. And we are coming from the sunny side of the Dallas area with my husband, my son Dante, who's 17, Jordan, who is 14, and Alexis, who is 5. So... Welcome, all you new viewers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We've had quite a few. Yeah, yeah, quite a few. We've had quite a few new viewers. So thank you for giving us a little bit of your time. If you are a returning viewer, thank you as well for showing us love all these years. We appreciate all the support. The sun is out right now. It was kind of raining yesterday, so we're glad that we got a little bit of. It rained this morning too. Yeah, it did rain this morning too. So it's been a while since we have been here. I try, you know, every episode I try to, to have a schedule, but that doesn't always work out. Jordan has had me super busy. I'm his taxi cab for band this year. He's a freshman, going to be a freshman, so he's just entered into band camp. So I had to make this shirt, living that band mom life. So, yeah, anyway, so, but there, the band is sounding good and I'm excited for him this year. So, yeah, it's going to be a good year, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be a great year. He got braces a couple of weeks ago, so he had to retrain himself on how to play the trombone. But Can you see him? No, because you got white. Anyway. So, yes. Yeah, so, anyway, welcome back, and thank you, thank you, thank you. So, we're going to start with our Knit Crate subscription for the month. Why does it feel hot in here? No. And see what you mean. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna start with the Knit Crate subscription uh, this month. We just got it, and I am an ambassador for Knit Crate, and they send me these lovely uh, packages each month so I can show the viewers here on the podcast. And if this is your first time um, wanting to try Knit Crate, Please then do. you get a twenty percent off uh, discount if you use the what, Jordan? The code Happy Twenty. Happy Twenty, which will be up here for all you first time subscribers that want to try knit crate so will this <laughs> you will not regret it so this month oh that's cute show that jordan we got two skeins of knitology oh that colorway is lovely it's There's called a colorway right on here <laughs> yeah patchy are you sure <laughs> yeah it looks, it looks darker look, no it, this is dark it's not that no dark, yes oh it's so dreamy and i know why cashmere alpaca wow. and silk so this is 40 percent superwash merino 30 percent silk and 30 percent alpaca and it is 150 yards and 100 grams cane don't throw my yarn anyway that is gorgeous let's see that is nice 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 so you get two of those and they also threw in from Mermaid City Yarns, this little progress keeper that is an elephant. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but don't use, bag. Hmm? don't use my bag. Not not the bag. Let's see. Yeah, the little elephant. How cute is that? And I think this month's theme is this is for July, and it's called Color of Wonders nice wonder anyway you guys i'm telling you i'm telling you nick crate is all that and then some so anyway this is the catalog for july right it's fine it's fine just move, move your big head it's not that big oh it's it's pretty huge anyway so <laughs> Thank you guys. Check it out. Check out Knit Crate for the month. Um, like I said, it is a lovely subscription. I'm going to sit this back here out of the way because we have this table that I'm using to podcast on is full of yarny goodness. Now, last time we videotaped or had our podcast, it was what, Jordan? Our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. giveaway. And all that we had asked was that you make a comment in the underneath the video um <clears throat> the last last month's video and we had a ton of beautiful responses i actually read all of them and hopefully i liked all of them i tried to do that um 
because I, yeah, we had quite a few and I was trying to get through all of them. But I want to thank you guys again for getting us to 10,000 subscribers. We, we appreciate it and love it. So let's just go ahead and get started on the prizes. We have three winners for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Your energy level is bringing me down. Like the band director. You're bringing me down. <laughs> it's a 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm tired. <laughs> he is, y'all. He has been literally going from 7 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock at night. So I'm going to give him a little bit of... of um, leniency. Leniency, but still. 10,000 subscribers. Ha! Ah! Okay. <laughs> no, don't. Yeah, okay. Whatever. So anyway, so let's get started. So winner number one is Signa Levesque, and I hope I did not butcher that name. L-E-V-E-S-Q-U-E. -E. I'll put it down below so that I won't get it incorrect. And you, my dear, have won this lovely yarn from Knit Crate. It is the... Um, the strawberry colorway. Strawberries. How lovely is that? And it is 100% superwash merino. And I will throw in the um, pattern book for that subscription. Oops, yeah, dropping stuff. <laughs> for that pattern, um, so that for that subscription, so that you can make something out of the book. So number two is Patricia Lux. L O U X. Lux. No. I'm sorry guys, I'm not I'm I'm really truly not good with names, so please forgive me. This is going to be also Vitalana in the colorway Dusty Rose. It is a sock yarn and it is let me give you the content 40% merino wool, 40% Peruvian, Peruvian. and 20% nylon and it is fingering weight of course and 439 yards how beautiful is that look at the different variation in that so i hope patricia you are going to love that as well and then certainly last but not least is diana riley and i believe she is from louisiana because we've chit chatted before so you are the winner of a beautiful sock bag that mm -mm, sock bag that I have sewn for you guys and it is lined in happy happy sunny yellow and it's a drawstring bag and it will fit a pair of socks very easily or a hat or a smaller project so wonderful so I hope that you are going to enjoy that as well Diana so congratulations to the winners and I am very, I wish I could give each of you a prize. I really, really do. Oops. Sasha's about to fall over. But anyway, thank Sasha. you guys again. And like I said, yeah. Hopefully, you know, 20,000 is on the horizon. Actually, it's just less, less, I think 15. <laughs> 15 less, before less, 20. Less 15 before 20, but you never know. So anyway, so now we're going to do the question of the day. What is the question of the day, Jordan? What pattern is next in your queue? So I chose this um, question because I'm always looking for inspiration to see what other knitters are actually thinking about knitting. It actually sometimes will sway me in the direction of what I want to do next because not all the time I'm aware of the patterns that are coming out, etc. But you guys, y'all all know. You got definitely all know. So yeah, I want to know what's in your queue for... Um, your next um, project and then that way I can kind of be sneaky and just kind of peruse and see if I want to jump on the bandwagon of any of these projects that you guys are doing bandwagon. right 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 Wrong. okay <laughs> no right okay Wrong. so moving on because I want to get through this content um, so you guys don't have to sit through a, a too lengthy of a podcast so we're going to keep rolling along here um, we had the last episode we had the Christmas come early cow which Jordan was wonderful enough to name for us and it came to a close on July the 31st 
So it was a wonderful but quick uh, cal to try to get people motivated to go ahead and get at least one Christmas present or project done in the month of July. So that would be one less um, stressful thing that you have to do in the month of November or December and we actually had 18 entries for that cow and yes I have drawn the prize for that it was a wonderful cow and I love seeing the finished projects and I hope you guys got a little bit of a push in order to get something off of your list so with that being said the we did a random number generator and we did that also on the 10,000 um, G number generator R N G okay thanks for that plug, plug. <laughs> anyway so the winner for the Christmas come early Cal is number two Monica Lee congratulations Monica I hope that you had a wonderful time participating in this uh, Cal it was nice to see your project as well so your prize is going to be believe it or not a Christmas bag whoop, whoop. these were Christmas bags that I had sewn um, last year and this is actually one of my favorites it's kind of like an old school Christmas bag and it is also a drawstring and uh, can definitely be a sock bag or um, a hat bag or what it, pretty much whatever you want it to be and so it is lined with um, the same um, lining as the, the drawstring casing. So I thought that was cute. And I'm also throwing in this great little progress stitch keeper. Out. No, it's not a stitch marker. It's a progress keeper. I still don't know the difference. I'll tell you. It's love. All you need is love, right? And then the other little goodie is going to be this lavender uh, eucalyn wash that you can use for your projects going forward okay so congratulations monica on that please get in contact with me all the winners please get in contact with me via ravelry or you can send me an email uh through happy knits at yahoo.com or however if you want to send me a message through instagram however you want to get in contact with me please do I look forward to hearing from you so that I can get those prizes out to you. Woo! Woo! Okay, guys, because, because it's been a while since I podcast, I actually have some finished objects. Huh? I know. <laughs> you didn't have to say it like that. And if you follow me, guys, on <clears throat> Instagram, you have seen my lovely and wonderful. Let me make sure I have the rights. Yeah. My lovely and wonderful shawl that I completed. I will definitely uh, put in pictures for you to um, to see that. I am so in love with this scarf. When I tell you that it is so, I don't even know how to wear it. Hold on. <laughs> I think I've seen people do this and then this. The color is a little bit darker on the screen, but I told you it was tough. it's okay. It's a little darker. <laughs> However, let me tell you something, guys. One of my favorite projects thus far. Um, definitely going to get a whole lot of wear out of it. And I will tell you, because it had a bunch of, it was all um, garter stitch, it did get a little uh, tedious. But at the end of the day, y'all, let me tell you. So let me tell you a little bit about this. This is the all, it's a free pattern on Ravelry called the All Spice um, Shawl Pattern by Lisa Myers. Ugh, it's dreamy. 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 Anyway, if you have never knit a shawl before, this is definitely the pattern to knit to get you um, indoctrinated into knitting Shawl. shawls. Because, like I said, it's very simple. Garter stitch. Your basic triangular shawl and you can make it as long or as big as you would like it and like I said it's just it turned out so so good and then then that, that feel soft? It's soft don't don't rub it like okay don't rub it like that anyway so this consists of two Everything. uh fingering weight yarns the blue the primary blue up here is the um aqua 
It's not aqua. Oh. It's okay, so it's Primrose Yarn Company. And it is in the Betty Davis Eyes colorway. And then this other one, which I used to stripe in between the two, Spellbound. is Spellbound by the three Irish girls. Anyway, like yeah. I said, this camera does not do, do it justice. justice. Yeah. I love the spine on it. I think it's so nice and beautiful. So I'm very happy with that. Anyway, so that is object number one. I do have, um, this is in my Ravelry, on my Ravelry page. Um, I'm trying to think, is there any notes in here that would even benefit you? I'm not 100% sure. So yes, yeah, so anyway, shawl number one done. Definitely going to be doing some more shawls in the future um, as well. Now for my entry for the uh, Christmas Come Early Cal, I decided to do um, some washcloths. <clears throat> now, um, this also was for the, the Yarn Hoarders Dishcloth Challenge as well. But I have quite a bit of cotton yarn as well. So I said, let's go ahead and throw, let's go ahead and get some of these knitted up and done. So this um, is just um, your standard. And I think it's the, it's the same, um, dishcloth pattern that she uses Alexis just came through here and it is the I think the grandma's uh, dishcloth um, pattern on Ravelry I did the no holes version and this is just some um, uh, what do you call it knitting no what is this the sugar and cream is this particular one I don't, I don't even have the ball band for it so I have no idea what it is and then, thank you. And then these two are, uh, I didn't weave in the ends, but this one is, um, <laughs> this one is Cascade um, Luna, and these are discontinued yarns, and this is in the Pima Cotton, and this colorway was, if I'm not mistaken, colorway, hmm. <laughs> uh, 751 because I don't think there theirs didn't have names to it but Very anyway this one this 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 cotton Peruvian cotton is definitely um, softer good. than this sugar and cream but this to me is slightly thicker so honestly I don't know I knit the same pattern but this one tends to hold its shape a little bit better because it's a little bit rougher and so it ended up being I knitted the exact same size for all of these but these ended up being a little bit smaller it's got a little bit more stretch but stretch. so these may be um, for face right because they're a little bit softer this one smells nice it does I don't smell a thing. You think it smells nice? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. And then I also did this one in a sea breeze color, which is also the Cascade Luna, which is discontinued um, as well. And um, this one is soft as well. So I actually enjoyed these. These are very quick get off the needle projects to kind of say, hey, <clears throat> I got something done and i'm going to be doing some more of these because my sister saw the purple one and she already claimed it for christmas so i'm going to be doing a few more of those for family members so that everybody can use dishcloths or washcloths or whatever correct cloths cloths, cloths. cloths. so yeah like i said i'm going to i already have some uh, another one on the needle so probably hopefully by the end of the year i'll have quite a bit of a collection that 22. i can give out huh 22 22 what? Dishcloths. You think I should, can do 22 <laughs> by, by Christmas? Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Just throw out a random number. Yeah, I just, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. I think that was the number I wore during basketball. 22. 22. Okay. 22. And this weekend, I finally finished. Sasha. Sasha is back. Horrifying as ever. She's not. 
You have to move your head or do something to show you. It's like cover, two years ago. Cover your face. It's still horrifying. <laughs> She is a nice, she is a nice no, model. she's creepy. She is a nice model. You guys, look at she this. She doesn't blink. <laughs> look at this um, hat and the pattern. This is by Hypnotic Yarns. And I bought this kit a couple of years ago. Oh, I forgot what the pattern was. Hmm? I used to remember this one, but I forgot what it was. Okay, move your head. Oh! Move your head. <laughs> Sasha is not getting her just due. Anyway, this is Hypnotic Yarns in her colorway Peppermint Mocha. Oh. And it was a hat kit that I bought a couple of years ago. And it came with uh, the pattern, the cute little pom-pom, which I need to secure a little bit better with like a button. I've seen um, how they do the buttons. And so you can take the pom-pom uh, off when you get ready to wash the hat. But anyway, I love the color combination of this hat. Very easy to knit. Love the pattern. And it is the Leanna hat. Like I said, I think I, I haven't checked her shop, uh, her website to see if she has um, any more of these available, but she did have another colorway. She did have another colorway <laughs> on her website at one point for this. And um, you guys stay tuned because I'm doing something special with Hypnotic Yarns that I can talk about um, after probably in the next podcast, hopefully. But um, she is one of my favorite uh, yarn dyers and I just love her to death. And so I'm very excited to be able to do this special uh, project with her. But anyway, like I said, beautiful hat. Lovely. I'm gonna have to post this on um, Instagram. I haven't even had a Without chance. Without Sasha. No, Sasha's gonna definitely going no. to be modeling this. Definitely. So anyway, one of my favorite hats thus far. The colorway, like I said, is stunning. So what do you guys think of it? Move your big head. It's not that big. <laughs> what do you think of the colorway? It had. It, it started out with doing some pooling on here and we talked about it earlier in the year and I was like okay I'm just gonna let it go but what I what I did was I ended up cutting the yarn um, a little bit of the yarn at the beginning of one of the rounds just to offset the red so that it would kind of have uh, some spots of red on the other side so that it wouldn't just be concentrated in one area although I, I still absolutely love all of it and this yarn was 100%, I think, Superwash Merino. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I've had this kit. Like I said, I've had this kit for a while. S you're not a cat. No. <laughs> Stop messing with my... I don't know about, I don't know about him sometimes, y'all. I really don't. Lack of sleep. I don't know what you want to call it, but... <laughs> anyway. So yes, I love it. Thank you so much, Cheryl for um, making this colorway and yeah I've got lots of uh, hypnotic yarn in my stash that I'm going to have to start working through because I do have I told you guys I have over a hundred skeins of um, finger and weight so and did I buy more sure I did I'm not gonna even I'm not gonna even lie I'm not gonna even lie so those are my finished objects for this podcast I just want to make round. sure this round, I want to make sure I didn't forget anything. Round so, 34. Round 34. Round 34. So, yes! Yeah! I'm just excited about getting some things off my needles and progressing forward. Hold, please. We had to have a commercial inter... Oh, we in, should actually in, put a commercial there. Intermission because Alexis is peeking her head out of the doorway wanting to know when we're going to be done podcasting so anyway so let's move on so that we can get to the needs of the five-year-old because she does run the household so whips we're moving on to the whip section so first of all i want to comment on i met um we had another sip and stitch at perk coffee house this past saturday in Louisville, and we had a wonderful 
was like, what are you doing? I saw you out of the corner of my, my eye and I'm like, what is he doing? So anyway, we had a great, great turnout. Um, we try to do this once a month in Louisville. So if any of you guys are interested, uh, please ping me and let me know if you will be coming to the next one, which I think is the Saturday after Labor Day, which is a really good Saturday because everybody will be well rested. They will have had the weekend before to do hopefully some family activities so that what the following me? week, huh? So what about me? Um, I think you might be doing band practice on Saturday during the time, just like you were yesterday. But I don't know. If, if, if you can, Saturday, if you... Wait. September what? Saturday, September the seventh. I'm just curious about 7th. what I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know when the first game is. Yeah, the seventh. So. Oh my God! Trying to podcast when she is around is like almost like guaranteed interruption. So anyway, so. With that being said about Perk Coffee House, like I said, if you are interested, please either IM me or DM me or contact me in any form of fashion on social media, along with Alana, who is Poppy and Bug on Instagram, and let us know if you're coming just so that we can get a head count to let the establishment know how many how much area we need to reserve for the knitters and the crocheters and or both okay and the sippers so with that being said i want to shout out to heather craft nut are you 225 on instagram or are you just yeah because i mm, 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 i want to make sure i get your handle right heather okay why am i not <laughs> Hold oh, please. Oh, oh, oh please. <laughs> oh. oh please. <laughs> okay. Okay. So yes, her handle is craft nut two two five C R F T N U T T two two five. I just wanted to make sure I got that right, Heather. So anyway, I started a new project while I was there. I'm doing another Jane hat and i this is my third one. I absolutely love this pattern. And I actually had um, a co-worker that, oh, let's see if it'll, if it'll show. Why is that not wanting to focus? Let's see. There we go. It, oh, I guess I shouldn't show you the, it's a paid for pattern. Anyway. I have, I, like I said, you guys have seen this before on the podcast, but um, it is by Jane Richmond, a very easy, <laughs> you can come back into the frame shot, frame, frame shot. So anyway, I started it and then I messed up on the ribbing. I don't know what it is about doing simple patterns and they always, I always get tripped up. So I was doing the long tail cast on and Heather said, have you ever tried the German cast on and I was like no and she says well I'll do it for you because it was 85 stitches and, and at that moment I was like I'm not mentally ready to, to to learn anything new so she was gracious enough to cast on for me and I did a little bit of knitting on it yesterday switched to something else and then Jordan had a band rehearsal last night so I did a little bit more um, ribbing on it it's a two it's a I think a two by three ribbing and y'all this colorway is so nice i got it's a malabrigo rios and it is in the colorway um glitter glitter zero four eight glitter so let me it's kind of a rustic color and i love the variations and the tones in it and this is for a co-worker of mine who liked one of my hats mm. Um, so I'm knitting this in that colorway. I got this from the McKinney Knittery, um, the yarn shop in McKinney, Texas. If any of you guys are familiar with this area, it was my first time going to that shop. Hi, Ginger. If you're watching, she was such a lovely, um, I think she's the owner of the shop and she was so gracious and so sweet 
She spent time answering my questions. Um, she actually entertained Alexis for a little bit. So it was very, very nice. It will not definitely not be my last time going to that shop. Hopefully I can get up there in the next couple of weeks. But I got that uh, yarn from that shop. So I'll show you in acquisitions also some of the other things that I got from McKinney Knittery. But that was one of the main reasons why I, why I went up there was to get the uh, Malabrigo Rios because I knew that was the yarn that I wanted to use to start um, my co-worker's hat. Can you concentrate? <laughs> So thanks again, Heather, for doing that for me. We talked about, um, we are very similar, me and Heather. I say she's my sister from another mother. We have, like we, we have the same, we have, um, our birthday months are the same. We're one year apart. I mean, we're just, we just, we're just kindred spirits. So anyway, she loves the Kitchener Stitch. I hate it. That's a strong So word. she, okay. I, yeah, that hate is a strong word. So let me dial it back a little I bit. Dislike I it. strongly dislike <laughs> <laughs> the Kitchener Stitch. Will I do it? Yes. Do I mess it up all quite often? Sure. But Heather says <laughs> she would finish if I did top down socks or the afterthought heel. She would Kitchener Stitch for me when we when we meet up on Saturdays. I'm like winning, right? And that's a true friend right there. Yeah, sure. And the fact that she <laughs> cast on 85 stitches when she didn't have to because she had her own project to start with. Love you, Heather. Love, love, love. Okay, so that's one of my whips. Um, I hate to even show you Jordan's socks because you guys, I'm telling you, he might get these by the end of the year. <laughs> Maybe not. After football season is over. <laughs> No, I really am going to I really am going to try to finish these socks before football season really gets underway because these are my four my four at a time and this particular color Use a use a washcloth here. Use a washcloth. There you um, go. The pink one. You want the pink one? The one that smells yes. good. It doesn't smell like anything. Yes, it smells like yarn. Or is that that wash that you put it in? I did. I I didn't put but it. But it I smells did, like I it. Didn't put, I did not put it in any wash. It has not. Yeah. Anyway, so my four to time socks. These are the Dallas Cowboy colorway. So this is why it's important that I um, go ahead and get these. Why is that not wanting the focus? Why I need to go ahead and get these done. And this is Brazen Stitchery. And this is uh, Chicken Coop Dye Works in her colorway Germinate. So, yeah, I really need to go ahead and get these done. But I was actually trying to finish up some other things. So, yeah. So, that's a whip. I worked, I worked on that very, very little yesterday at um, the Sip and Stitch. But I did. And for all the ladies that were there, shout out to you as well. There's quite a few people that I could name, but anyway, yes, 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 yes. Stop it. Stop it. And then, <laughs> did I? Hmm. Picks. <laughs> yeah, those are my two picks. Yes. And then in Q, I have. Projects in Q. I have far Forest Fiber Arts. And this is some yarn that I bought for Alexis from Nikki. She just recently moved to Texas. Nikki, you definitely need to come join us for Sip and Knit um, in Louisville. Maybe just a little bit of a drive for you, but I would love to meet you. And it's in her colorway, Goody Goody. I've already wound it up. Look at that. Uh, the lights will probably blow it out a little bit, but pinks and um speckles in it and just goodness so i'm ready to do those for alexis and so i didn't see it huh i didn't see it you didn't see it no i was oh. underneath see i could see alexis wearing oh that. she would she would she actually picked this out she did. and it's in my wonderful bag that i showed you guys the last time that a lovely viewer <coughs> bless you thank you a lovely viewer um sewed for me i just i'm in love with this bag Ugh all of that and then some and this camera is really acting up today so that's in my <laughs> that's in my queue 
Guys, it, I was cleaning out some stuff. One. No, oh, I was cleaning nice. out some stuff um, of Alexis's, and I found this bib that I made her when she was a baby. It was a cotton bib because she was definitely a big time <laughs> drooler, <laughs> big time drooler. And so I, I hate to throw this away. I mean, I guess I would keep it and put it in a box that she's trying to yeah, she's trying to come over here. So anyway, so I'm just going to put this up. I don't know what to do with it, but cover your face. I don't know what to do with it, but I think the pattern I got off of, um, I got off of Ravelry, I'm sure, because it slips right over her head. Anyway, like I said, it was a wonderful um, pattern. I just, I found it while cleaning out her stuff in her room. So let's move on to acquisitions. Okay, another interruption by the five-year-old. Stop. Making entrance. Okay. So we went on. We had recently went on vacation. Literally after the last last podcast, we went to. We wanted to have go somewhere that was fairly quick. So we went to to Austin. And there we had a really good, nice family time together. Um, got we, stuck we in got an elevator. Stuck in an elevator <laughs> for an hour, which was interesting. It was funny to say the least. But luckily, when we, we when we got out, we were greeted with some very, very, very fine-looking firemen. Thank you, BK firemen, for getting us out, and also just for yeah, you ladies know. Anyway, my husband didn't get to come on the trip, but and that's neither here nor there. But yeah, they were definitely very, very, um, yeah. If you're going to get stuck in an elevator, you might as well have something good come out of it in the end. And It was, it was a great bonding moment. It was. It was. We, we, we bonded in the elevator with it no was air. Funny, because it was, we were joking about it getting stuck and then, well, got stuck. But I will say that the hotel that we stayed at was kind of a boutique hotel. So, I mean, it, it, they do have other areas across awesome. the U.S. But it was a very, and they were very, very apologetic. They handled the situation very well. They were expeditious in getting um, people to try to help get the doors open. So we appreciate that. But, yeah, it was, it was, that's definitely something that we can laugh about together. And, um, yeah. At least we weren't between floors. We were, well, we were, uh, yeah. That's true. Okay, so while I was there, I had already been to Austin a couple times and the boys had been a few times. But anyway, I had seen the Capitol. So the rest of my family went to the state Capitol and I took a detour to guess where? Of course, a yard, a yard. shop. <laughs> so I went to Hill Country Weavers in Austin. I like Hill Country. And I had a wonderful time. I met some lovely ladies that worked there that helped me to think through a pattern that I actually for the for one of the first times this is very rare for me is actually to have a pattern in mind that I actually needed to buy yarn for so in my pick section is the um, I don't know if it is the um, Milu. Milu. <laughs> see it's weird that it's Jordan is yeah it's focusing on Sasha. <laughs> Is it? Oh, that's why. Sasha. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on. I told you she's evil. <laughs> I guess Sasha, because Sasha has facial features, is trying to recognize her face. You didn't say that to me earlier. Oh, I didn't notice it earlier. Oh, okay. I'm like. I just looked at it in the camera. Okay. And it had a Sasha little... has been trying to steal the thunder. Let's see if that's true. Okay. Let's see. Yep, I guess it was Sasha. It was Sasha. <laughs> anyway, this is the pattern. I don't know if you call it Milu, Milu. It is by Tammy Milu. Gore. And I have literally been stalking this pattern for a while. And I even love the colors that she put in this pattern. So I was trying to find something that was uh, similar because I didn't want to do exactly the same um, colorway, but something very similar. So while I was there, of course, guys, I saw this bag. Look at this. Llamas. Llama. Oh, llama. Are they? Pa they could be either. 
I, either, I can't tell either the difference. Either or. But look, let me tell you something. And it's got a little yarn pom pom. Oh, let me go this way. Different it's always backwards. A yarn pom pom on it. And it's a zippered bag. It is by Danica Studio. Um, it's made in India, so I don't think it's um, like handmade. But I'm telling you, this bag here is very sturdy. Yeah, they're llamas. They're llamas? Yeah. Okay. They have curved ears. Oh, okay. Very sturdy. And uh, I just look at that. The inside is just like a plain canvas, but still. So, with that being said, I got um, the, the, the ladies Goodies. there helped me. And so, all of the yarns that I'm going to show you are by Life in the Long Grass and their DK 100% Superwash Merino. So, let's start with I'm going to show you this color here. I'm going to show you I this. I've seen these. You never showed them. Right? Let's see. So you can kind of get an idea of what 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 I'm doing with with each. So this colorway is um, Gorse G O R S E. So that's going to be. You can see that where the, where that's going in the pattern, and then the next one is going to be called. Oh, so this took like certain yarn. For... Yeah, this one's called Wolf. And it's got specks Oof. in it. And as you can see, oh. this is going to be the light color that's going to be in between those. Okay. And then, oh, so you last. Got something that needed colors before. Yes. You did the, what was that called? One, it was a really long. Oh, the, thing. oh yeah, the, the wrap, the, um, camp, camp. Wilkerson. Wilk, yes. Camp Wilkerson. Yeah, yeah. yeah Wrap. So this next one is called Andisol. A N D I S O L. So this one is going to vary from the pattern just ever so slightly. It's still got a, some hues of um, brown in it, but where the brown is. I'm trying to see. <laughs> <laughs> I will show you these after the yeah. podcast if you like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so where the brown is, this one is going to take the place of that. So here Jordan, hold that. So this together is my color combination, let's see, for this pattern. I'm very excited about it and I cannot wait to get started on it. But like I said, these are um, life in the long grass. So they're all by the same uh, maker and then of course I had to get a pair of needles um, Chiagu which are my favorites uh, size 7 US 7 4.5 millimeter 40 inch cord to do this one and then I got this lovely canvas bag as well it's a beautiful has butterflies on it Butterfly. so they threw that in there too so like i said wonderful experience um with hill country weavers the ladies there like i said were, were gracious and nice and they helped me to pick out all of these colors and the bag and the bag i picked out the bag myself though the bag has a little thing on it yeah it has a pom-pom i showed it to them oh you did don't break it <laughs> So that is in, going to be in my pick section. So I'm excited about that. And this will probably be my sock bag. One of my sock bags. Llamas don't make the sound. They don't. I, what sounds? What sounds do llamas make? You don't even know. Do they make a sound? Do llamas make sounds? You don't know. Ain't like a dog. I know that. Huh? I, I know it don't sound like dogs. You, are you saying I sounded like a dog? You like how did it go? No, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let's rewind back. Like I said, guys, I went to McKinney uh, Knittery, and you saw the Malabrigo Rios. So, of course, I went there to get a skein and came back with fifteen hundred. No, I won fifteen hundred. Okay. So I'm going to show you our cute little bag. I want to show you the back. It says, in my defense, I was left alone and the yarn shop was open. <laughs> True words were never spoken. 
So let me show you what I got besides the Malabrigo. Um, I went ahead and got some yarn that I could do some heels, toes, and cuffs with um, while I was there. But I did um, get, I don't know, this color is, I, this, if you notice in my other, um, what I just showed you, I, something about this colorway that has been calling me. I have knitted a hat in a colorway that's very close to this. I'm knitting something in a shawl. This is Yarn Carnival, and it is, I wanted to get um, some yarn that was made in Texas. And this is in her beeswax colorway, 70% uh, superwash merino, 20% yak, which I have never knit with before, yak. and 10% um, nylon. So yeah. anyway, I want. I saw that and I... Oh, yak. Yak the yak. Yaks are like similar to... Uh, Buffalo? Yeah. Right? Is that right? Is that what a yak is? Is that what a yak is, or is a yak more like a... A deer or something. Oh, no, am, am, it, I, am I wrong? I think it'd be like a... No, no they're, 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 they're like buffalo. A or yak. weird cows looking thing. I can't. A yak. A yak. I thought they looked buffalo-ish. Anyway, so... <laughs> some some yaks no. sacrifice part of their outerwear. To, yeah, no choice. <laughs> to to bring us this lovely colorway. So anyway, so that was one of my purchases. And then these both, these next two are both heritage yarns. And this one is in the colorway 5633. It's just a purple. It's a little bit darker on the screen, but um, you get the gist of it. And it is just uh, your standard 7525. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 7525. And this one is in a gray color, which is also 7525. It is their colorway 5631. And I definitely needed some grays for my uh, toes, heels, and cuffs. So I'm trying to hide behind the yarn. Oh, I was like, what are you doing? So so yeah. So that's and then the last but not least, I got this tuft woolen sock soap in the in the scent. Blueberry lemonade. You smell All like, these scents smell the same. No, they don't. I don't smell blueberry or lemonade. Anyway, this is my... <laughs> shut it, shut it! This is my first time with the Tuft um, soap, so I'm excited uh, to try that for um, my socks and whatever else I can use that for. And. So, and then... I forgot to show this on the last episode, but I had gotten a shipment from Knit Picks for their Felici yarn. So let oh, me we show got more. you. Huh? We have some. Yeah, we still have. Uh, I think I only have one. I think I only have two skeins. Yeah, where's the rest of it go? <laughs> I, I knitted with it. I gave one to a co worker, and I've given some out as gifts um, over the years. So I really only have one, one, one colorway left. Well, now we don't. <laughs> yeah, I kind of. We, we restocked. Okay, so the first one is Ribbit. You want to show them, Jordan, while I, while I name them off that way. Um, that first one is Ribbit. There we go. Yeah, so that. All of these are 7525 Superwatch Merino. So that's the first one. Ribbit. And the second one is called Chelsea. Kind of a light pastel. Pastel. Pastel, I remember pastel. color. Okay, and then the next one is called Coffee Break, which pretty <laughs> much speaks for itself. Really? Kind of got a coffee vibe to it. Coffee's brown. This just, is more color. <laughs> just show. <laughs> The colorway. I, that's kind of, I think that's my favorite one. I don't see coffee in it except for this one. Uh, right. Oh, that's not focused. Never mind. <laughs> Last but not least is Playhouse. I can see that in this. Okay. From the peanut gallery. The master of colorways. Felici Playhouse. And then I ended up getting, let me see if it's in here. 
Oh, I ended up getting this cute little. For every finger. That's not no. Give me my yarn before you destroy it. <laughs> okay, and then I got a sheep enamel pen because Meh. I think they were having a sale. Uh -huh. You got your face there too. Any it cute? Any cute? So anyway, so yes. Yeah, so as you can see, I have. I didn't throw them. I, I didn't throw them. As you can see, I have been um, doing a little bit of shopping, but I, I I feel like I've got a groove now, and I'm glad I'm going to be starting another shawl. Um, mm -hmm. I've got socks on the needles for Alexis. I got socks on the needles for you. I need to get socks on the needles for me, which wow. I think my next one I think might be that Serenity Fibers uh, colorway that I. Uh, bought um, for the, I think the May mystical colorway you guys go back and look at the last episode to see I believe they were I believe I showed them in the last episode so anyway I think that that's it Jordan I probably am forgetting something but I tried my best to make notes uh, uh, so that I wouldn't forget anything but yeah no I haven't been doing any sewing lately no Nope, 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 nope. So yeah, yes, I think that's it. I hope this episode wasn't too long. I, I, I didn't keep track of the time, but so anyway, okay, okay. So anyway, if you guys ever have any questions for us, we I was thinking about doing another What Does Jordan Know um, segment. Um, you guys. You guys seem to really have enjoyed that. I'll post up here if you are a new viewer. I'm going to put a little card link up here so you can go back to that uh, video if you have I not quite well. if you have not seen it. Jordan did pretty pretty well and I went back and watched it the other day just just because and I thought we should do another one and this time I should make the questions a little bit tougher. Don't you think uh, you, I'm not passing this. <laughs> you don't you you did very well on the last one. But that one. was like the basic that, that was pushing the limits of what I knew already <laughs> anyway yeah okay 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 so anyway guys I hope you guys have a wonderful week um, I want to say prayers to um, the families and the victims of the El Paso shooting and now the um, Day Daytona the Daytona Ohio, Ohio shooting um, we need to definitely um, be thinking about those um, victims and their families. Um, do whatever you can. If it's just to send out a silent prayer, either go to a um, go give blood, whatever it is that you can do in your own personal space, um, please do that. Um, I've talked to my kids um, about what's been going on, and of course, they're well aware of, of this. We actually, um, a couple of weeks ago, had an active uh, shooter training at my my company and it's unfortunate but we need to be able to to um, know how to handle these situations um, the kids have these trainings at school every year right Jordan yeah so um, it's unfortunate but like I said just hug your kids your family a little bit tighter if you haven't called anybody in a while tell them you love them but um, I'm not trying to end this on a, a sad it's, note, but this yeah, is something it, that it, has it's been, you already did. <laughs> it's been something that has been heavy on my heart. So I thought I would um, say something about it. So um, yeah. So anyway, with that being said, you guys have a wonderful week. Um, we will see you hopefully a little bit earlier than we did in the space of time from last week. Right, Jordan? Weeks. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll try to come back. He's been he's a little busy these time these days, so I don't know um, about how often we can podcast during band season. But we'll definitely try to do our best to to bring you some kind of content. Um, I still have a storage video that I need to get out for my Raskov cart that we bought um, at IKEA. Uh -oh. It now stores all of my or um, um, uh, I still have some work to do, but I want to make a video to show you some of the things that I store in my cart. But uh, yeah, I want to get back to making um, more content other than just um, podcast. podcast. I'm telling you, it's just, it really is hard. I try to make all of these 
assumptions and you know these these lists and these things that I want to get done and they just never get done and it's very it's very frustrating but then at the end of the day my family comes first um so yeah yeah I know you I know you moms and dads you you guys understand so yeah that's it guys we will see you in the next episode whatever that is <laughs> whenever that is okay bye bye, bye.